It's game time out there. A reminder to everybody hanging out with us, if you want more information uh, on the players or the Mutt rosters that they have put together for this round, be sure to watch in the command center. Uh, Ty, love taking a look at these guys' rosters because uh, everybody's got just a little bit of a different wrinkle. Yeah, everyone has a little bit something different, whether you see some route text, you see some short ends. Definitely check out the command center. Check out what the pros are doing. Add that yeah. to your game. You can learn the abilities, learn the teams they're rocking with out here on in that ultimate team. Uh, Henry looked all flustered. It looked like he dropped something, but he snaps the ball, looks underneath. You'll find a man who had a massive, massive day one. Keith Byers, TD, was, uh, I think, big for everybody. Oh, absolute beast. You get that goal line back ability on him in the red zone. You can pass to him out of the backfield like you saw Henry go to on that first play. Of course, Henry, you'll see him primarily in gun bunch in this tight uh, halfback week formation. Now, I will say the game against Astro was absolutely wild, right? High scoring, back and forth. I do think this game will be a little bit slower paced. I think we'll see a little bit less scoring in this type of game. You look for Henry to, you know, you slow it down and use a little bit more clock. Third down and two. Ball's on the 33-yard line. Tom Brady back to pass, stepping up and sitting down. The pressure from Cole getting to Henry. He's going to set up a fourth and six. Big time stop right there. And Henry, of course, going to go for it here. No, no question about it. And if Cole gets this stop, it will be massive for his confidence. Big Chargers fan hoping to have some luck with the Chargers. In the playoffs, wild card round. They've got a tough match against the Jaguars in round number What's one. Up? Look at the right side. It's picked off by Cole. What a start for the 29-year-old. It is Haynes with the interception. And Cole will get great field position. Ty, he doesn't just get a stop. He gets a turnover. What a stop for Cole. Look in the shock. The world in this matchup against Henry. 29 years old, his first MCS major appearance. Jasper, Tennessee native, would become the oldest player to make a final since Kerry Q at the Ultimate Thanksgiving last year. Um, and Ty, for somebody who played on PC, somebody his first MCS major appearance, we saw him uh, last week. He doesn't look nervous at all. He didn't let the pressure get to him at all, of course, against Clef. You talked about a former PC gamer, just got over to the console, also a former high-stakes poker player. So he's been in high-pressure situations. He knows what it's like. He's a very smart individual. And you saw it there, first drive, gets the huge defensive stand. Talk to me about Derek Brooks. Yeah, absolute beast right here. He actually is going to counter Tom Brady with two lurkers on that defense. So look for Derek Brooks in the middle of that defense to make some plays for him. First from that all Madden program, 93 overall outside linebacker. How about Ray Nitschke, a name that I think a lot of the younger players out there may not know. Yeah, and there's the other lurker. So he's going to have Nitschke uh, in the middle with Derek Brooks with that lurker ability. So maybe, you know, lurker's not as good this year as it's been the past few years, but maybe he can get a crazy, uh, uh -oh. you know, pick over the middle. Uh-oh, that, that was almost a pick to start. Now, uh, Ty, we saw so many people using that Tom Brady. Uh, Cole, one of the players still sticking with John Elway. Yeah, rocking that John Elway, of course, hot rope master set. If you leave, he still has Michael Vick on his roster. You know, we talked about it last week. He hasn't used him. Does he maybe bring it out in this game? I don't know. But the one thing about Cole, too, he runs the spread offensive playbook. So a very off meta style. Uh, we'll see if Henry can adjust to it. He's had time, and uh -oh, there it is. Uh oh, that's picked off, and we're going the other way. It's Woodson with the interception for Henry. As Woodson up the left oh. sideline, he'll get it all the way back to the 37-yard line. So a dream start for Cole, but not a dream drive, as Henry does what Henry does so often. He takes away a turnover. We're going the other way. So difficult to make mistakes against Henry. And that's the one thing I was going to say is, when you bring an off meta style, it's usually good, you know, the first, maybe second round, right? But when you give a guy, especially the caliber of Henry, a full, where we have four or five days to watch the film, dial in on what you're doing, it can be very difficult. So I do think that's the one downfall right now for Coley's playing great defense, but offensively, I think it could be a little bit of a struggle for him. A turnover each way, first and 10 for Henry, working quickly as he's already into Cole's territory. He'll pick up three underneath. Going with tons of tempo. The one thing I do like about Cole's defense is he runs his dollar, but you see him every play. He's going to bring his safeties right there down into the box. Just play a little bit closer to the line, allow him to make some better plays. That's left side, and he'll find Keith Byers for yet another first down. Down to the 13-yard line is Henry working at a supersonic pace at this point. Brady's stepping up, tries to get away, but... He's going to take a big hit right in the middle. Only get one. Yeah, going extremely fast. You see, that's been multiple plays now where he's gotten Cole stuck on his D tackle with his user. And that's never something you want, right? You always want to use the middle linebacker over the middle give yourself a better chance. Want to use some of those lurkers. He looks at the end zone. Uh-oh, we're lurking the 
other way. It's Atwater with the interception. Cole forces yet another pick and another turnover. Three turnovers to start the game, TD. What a start for Cole. This is exactly what you would want going up against the number one player in the world. And last week, it was all about Cole's unique offense. But he really feels comfortable talking to him in his defense. He feels that's where he, you know, lays his hat at night is at on the defensive side of the ball. He was extremely confident there. And so far, it's paying off early in the semifinal game. Let's bring in from our Orlando studio one great user. User, what a wild start to this game. We've got... We got turnovers all over the place. It's looking like a bakery out here. I mean, it, the defense is phenomenal out here. Listen, I don't know about you, Nick, but I got the text from Cole. He said, hey, is Clef retiring before Madden Bowl or after? That's what he want to know because he's tired of people not believing in him. I can't believe Clef. Oh, that's a dot? Okay. I can't believe Clef was even bold enough to put that out there that he would retire if Cole won. Now we watching Cole step up. Cole belongs here. No matter what a lot of people may think about his game, he's showing you right now he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best player in the world. Third and 17 in the shadows of his own goal post. 37 seconds left. Cole back to pass. Pressure off the right side. Throws over the middle. That one probably should have been picked. Uh, it's going to fall. Ingram is going to set up a fourth and long. Yeah, it's a real struggle right now for Cole. And I have to admit, I do not agree with this decision to go for it here on your own three-yard line, fourth and 17. You're playing phenomenal defense. Punt the ball away and get back on, on the defensive side of the ball. I don't, I don't like this decision, Nick. Does Cole have a miracle from his own three-yard line? Needs to get to the 20. 34 seconds left in the first quarter and a wild first quarter of our first semifinal. Elway back to pass. Pressure up the middle. Hit as he throws. Going to be incomplete. And uh, talk about great peel, field position, TD. Henry is going to take over on the three-yard line. Yeah, I just don't agree with it. And I know, you know, maybe our new viewers out there asking, why would he go for it in that situation? In Madden, you do go for it a lot. But with the way he's playing defense, you basically just gave Henry free points on the three-yard line. You saw Henry laughing about it. Like, look, at he's even playing great defense here. You force him, you know, move him back to, like, midfield. You give yourself a chance. But you give Henry the ball on the three-yard line. I mean, not a great decision from 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 the uh, person in his first ever live event. You see maybe the inexperience taking effect, but now Henry looks to take advantage. One time talking about talking to him before the entire tournament, he said that he had faith in his defense, his offense that he was the uh, maybe the most nervous about. Yeah, hundred percent, and we've seen that play out in this game. Obviously, last week looked a little bit better on offense, but you know today has definitely been a struggle. Second and goal. Uh, get pressure gets there no way to get rid of that ball third and goal now from the three yard line Cole's defense standing tall yeah, his defense is dialed in right now in that nickel over you saw he took away everything Henry wanted to do did a great job with his user coming on that backside dig route big third down here for both guys of course if you're Cole you gotta try to hold him to three after that questionable decision and you know Henry hey, this, I wouldn't be surprised if Henry considered going for this on fourth down as well Tight slots formation. Byers on the left hip. Uh, Tom Brady, now he'll audible over to a trip set to the left side. T Taysom Hill, the lone tight end on the right side. Watch out for Hill here in the, in the red zone as Brady back to pass, waiting, looking, and throws this one away. TD, fourth and goal. Yeah, this is a real interesting call here. Looks like he will take the three. So he, and I think that has to do with Henry just feeling so confident in his defense but if you're Henry you got to feel really frustrated with how you how this game's been going so far offensively hats off to Cole getting a big stand right there after he put his defense in a tough spot ball is down kick is up it's good three nothing your score but I don't know if we expected this is how the game was going to go Tyler Davis yeah and you can see the body language on Henry like he, he does not feel great but how this game is going so far. He knows he's in a battle. What a complete opposite from last week with Henry and Astro. We knew that we, it would have this feeling a little bit. And if you're Cole, you got to feel good. But now is where we got to figure out if Cole can find some offense. Take a look at the fourth down stop. Pressure getting to uh, Cole as he tried to get rid of that one. But that was sort of the story of the offensive drive for Henry. Cole's pressure able to get to the quarterback. Yeah, and don't forget, too, as you see, a nice run here. This is what Cole needed. Get the ground game going a little bit, right? Keep Henry off balance. But don't forget, too, when you're backed up on your three-yard line like that, you get that weird camera angle in the end zone, and that makes it even more difficult to pass the ball. So really tough spot for Cole there, but he does do what he needs to do, play defense, get back on offense, and now you got to figure out a way to move the ball here. 
First and ten, a handoff, not a whole lot. By the way, big shout out, Ty. We got we got this tweet after the the show last week from uh, our man K Rich on Twitter. K Rich two fifty seven. Um, seventy three point seven percent of plays were audible to at the line, uh, and that's what we're seeing from both these guys. Is they're going to come out of formation. They're going to use some motion. They're going to use some audibles and try to confuse the defense. Yeah, hundred percent. It's the way to mix it up this year against that man meta. That's why you see a little bit more zone and. It's tough setting right now for Cole, but with with that being said, Cole's offense too. Of course, he's running the spread uh, offense play, but you see him. He went to bunch a little bit. He goes to these Y off trips weak and Y off trips regular formations. When he goes to these off meta stuff like these read options, these inside zones, maybe we'll see him go to that motion Z spot we saw last week. I think those are the plays that could maybe give Henry a little bit of trouble because we know how much Henry has seen bunch. You are not going to beat Henry if you're not an experienced bunch player. You know, sticking with this meta formation. Third down and eight. Bunch over to the right side. Elway back to pass for Cole. Pressure picked up nice on the four-man rush. And somebody's actually open downfield. It's a first down to the 35-yard line. That's Adam Thielen with the catch on the sideline. And Henry just got caught lacking right there. Like, his user was on that, and he just kind of didn't think. I don't think he thought Cole would throw it. And Cole threw it over there on the corner route and gets a big completion, gets himself in field goal range. Nowhere to go on the ground there for Byers. And about 70% pass clip right now. Second and 10. Pump fake. Got him over pump the fake. seam. Got him. Oh, Touchdown. Megatron to the house. I don't know if the pump fake was intentional, Tyler Abrams, but it sure looked good on that play. Hit him with the pump fake, young man. Something we never see in these competitive games. And Cole is saying, hey, I'm for real. You guys are picking against me, Clef. You don't think I'm you're gonna you're never gonna play Madden again after this game because Cole is saying I'm here and he is putting it to Henry right now in a battle. Wow. Seven three. Cole with the lead. As we near the two-minute warning in the first half. But take a look one more time. Had that swing route pump fake. But there was nobody over there on Megatron, and you can't leave 81 open. Yeah, the ever so popular C route on that solo side. Cole is fired up because he knows that's what he needed, right? He's playing amazing defense. If he can get some offense going, it'd be huge for him. He does it. C route uh, beats All the right. man coverage, hits him with the pump fake. And now the pressure shifts to Henry, who's already thrown two picks in this game. And the scary part is you're starting to see the confidence from Cole grow. And the last thing you want to see, if you're a favorite in, a, in any sort of game, is the underdog gaining confidence. 100%, 1,000%. That was massive for him. And he continues to send this pressure, too, out of this dollar defense. Smart right there from Henry to check it down. But Cole just giving up nothing, really. Sending a lot of pressure out of that dollar 3-2. Third and six. Brady back to pass. Pressure picked up nicely. And there is Herman Moore, the Lions legend, open right side. And Henry's into opposing territory. And that's been Henry's bread and butter pretty much last week and this week. Goes to this tight formation, audibles over from Bunch, and he looks for a short side corner route. So he creates that flood concept, usually going to the short side with an underneath route as well. You see here, he has the drag underneath to Taysom Hill. Ooh, hit him with a little juke move. And Taysom Hill will get down to the 25-yard line. Henry's offense starting to move. That Taysom Hill, such a beast. Most pros out here running it. Zero AP for that Taysom Hill with that short in elite ability. Nowhere to go there. The heat from Cole making things tough for Henry. Uh, Ty, if you thought if you thought Cole was just going to lay down in this game, I think we're seeing that this is going to be a dogfight to the end. Oh yeah, no sir. He is legit. You can tell he's been he's been locked in all week prepping. And a nice dot right there from Henry, though. But we talked about Henry, you know, having the film for the whole week on Cole. But also, Cole's had film on Henry for a whole week, too. So he knows he wants to go from bunch to tight. He knows he's been in the lab prepared for it. And it's paying dividends so far early in this game. First and goal. Tight slots. Brady stepping up. And Brady taking off. And Brady's going to scramble for a 10-yard score right down the middle. Tyler Davis, you've been a uh, Patriots fan for a long time. You've been watching Tom Brady for a long time. How often do you see the 10-yard scramble from TB12? Very rarely. Very rarely. Great pocket presence. Great stick work from Henry. Steps up. Not a lot of speed on Brady, but when you got a little space right there, he avoids the user. And that's a huge response from Henry, getting up 10-7 now. Big-time response for the former belt winner. 
It's a fair catch called in the end zone as we take a look one more time at this touchdown. Just step up in the pocket, little pocket awareness, and wasn't a whole lot. A really nice block thrown downfield by some of those wide receivers. Yeah, avoids Atwater, goes to the left, steps up in the pocket. That's the one thing about Henry, too, has immaculate, just phenomenal pocket presence, and you saw it on display there. Under two to go here in semifinal number one. First and ten for Cole. Coming off a touchdown drive for himself. He'll look underneath. He'll find Taysom Hill to the 38-yard line. Picks up 13. And, and, you know, we haven't seen too much emotion from these two guys. You can just tell how much this means to both of them. What is at stake here, of course? You know, both these guys already guaranteed themselves 27500 right? This game, they win this, they can secure themselves another 40000 And, of course, our first place prize, which we'll see later on, 75000 So, so much at stake here. These guys just Good on cut. the edge of their seats, dialed in right now. Yeah, the stick work from Cole in this running game time. Very impressed with how he's running the ball. Uh, one of the better run sticks we've seen in the MCS. Yeah, I agree. And, it, and it's great that he's mixed this in. After that first drive, he kind of went pass heavy. Last two drives, he's been more balanced, mixed in the ground game, and it's paying off. There's that motion swing he used. Looking down the seam, he's got Taysom Hill to the 20 yard line. You look for the swing pass, all of a sudden he's hitting you over the top with the New Orleans Saint. Clock under 30 seconds. In the red zone is Cole. First down, right side. He's got Thielen fighting to the end zone. Yeah, Touchdown, man. Cole. It's a laser show right now from Cole. He is cooking up dots left over the middle to the right. And I think Henry is a little bit shocked at what is taking place right now. 29 years old from Jasper, Tennessee. Cole is going to make sure his name is known. He took down Clef the God in the first round. And he's looking to upset the number one player in the world, Henry, in the second round with a 14-10 lead. Still lots of time left. Even lots of time here in the half with 19 seconds to go. But take a look one more time. The hurry-up offense. Feeling off that baby wheel. He's open. And the Minnesota State Mankato graduate fights for the goal line. <laughs> it looks like the wide curl play. He keeps the wheel road on the slot receiver high balls it Thielen beats the man coverage I mean, huge play for Cole also the play huge hit right there for Cole the play previously too when he went to that motion Z spot play the seam streak to Taysom Hill like what a play that was and now Henry's in trouble you just mentioned it though Nick plenty of time here 15 seconds still has all three timeouts but you also don't want to make a mistake in the spot second down to 10 be looking for something downfield with all three timeouts. Brady steps up, looks right side. It's complete. It's Plaxico Burris to the 44 timeout taken. Step one, uh, Ty, he can get very much get into field goal range and cut in this lead. Yeah, great dot right there. Henry is having a little bit of a tough time picking up that left side pressure out of this dollar. I want to see, you know, usually maybe you double team the opposite of the running back side. Maybe you ID that backside blitzing uh, slot DB. But he's really having a tough time picking that up. Cole gets free pressure off that left side. But once again, Henry showcases that pocket presence, steps up, makes a nice read. Brady stepping up, throws it over the middle. It's complete. More fighting his way to the 32-yard line. That will get Henry into field goal range. And he will almost surely make this one to make it a one-point game. Not that we don't have tons of faith in the broadcaster's curse, but at the end of the day, focus kicker sort of negates that plan. As the kick is up, it's good. 14-13 at the half. Yeah, great job from Henry right there. Cole left the seams wide open. Henry throws a high ball, but you see on Henry's face, a little bit concerned here. Gonna, gonna be down by one going into the half. I don't think anyone expected that. And but, Cole getting the ball. Yes, and but the one thing we do know about Henry, his second half adjustments are usually on point. So he's gonna have a game plan here. But big picture overall, if you're Cole, this is an absolute win right now. Going to be going up 14-13 at half with the ball. Astro will take this to the 20-yard line, and that's where Cole's drive will start the second half. My, oh my, ladies and gentlemen, buckle up for the unexpected. We're only one half into our coverage tonight, and the upstart Cole, PC gamer, turned possible Madden 
finalist. He's up 14 to 13, the number one player in the world. Henry with a chuckle as even he can't believe what's going on right now. But we've got ourselves a barn burner here in game number one. Cole up 14 13 with ball TD. Uh, if you talked about a dream first half, and remember, even with Cole turning the ball over on the three yard line, even with Cole throwing an interception, if he, you told him that he would do all that and have a one point lead on the number one player in the world, he'd probably be dancing. Uh, he would take this 100 out of 100 times. Perfect first half almost for Cole in the situation he's in. I think right here, this drive coming up for both guys is massive. Could be the biggest drive of the game. I want to see Cole stick to what the, the balanced attack, right? The last few drives, he's gone a little bit more to the bubble gum, right? The wide trips offset, the offset weak. Go to the ground game a little bit more. When you stick primarily in this bunch, it's been a little bit of a struggle. So I want to see him mix it up a little bit more, keep Henry off balance. And for Henry, I think you keep doing what you're doing, right? You're playing pretty good defense. You gave up a, a kind of a one or two fluky big plays there in that man coverage uh, versus the wide curl. So if you're Henry, you stick back what you're doing and try to get a defensive turnover. Pressure picked up nicely. Looking deep down the field. Another miss for Elway. Cole can't believe it. That's two misses early, and that one could have been six. Yeah, that hurts. He had him. You see the disappointment on Cole's face. Had him. Had at least three steps on the defender right there in that deep blue over the top. Uh oh, that pressure right up the middle, and somehow that was the one that Cole competed, completed. What vision from Cole to find the receiver coming out of his break and pick up a first down. And he ran that same play last week versus Clef for a touchdown. Goes to this motion Z spot play again here, and this time has the backside slant. So when he goes over this wide trips, it's very difficult to defend. The previous was a timing route on the curl route. This time, backside slant. So he really has Henry thinking now with all these different formations. That time finding at zero chill wide receiver out of Oklahoma, C.D. Lamb with the catch, 6'2", 201. One of those players that you saw on most of the rosters here in the ultimate wild card. Elway on first and 10 steps up and he's going to take off. And he's not going to risk anybody laying a hit, especially Ted Hendricks in the middle. Yeah, goes to that wide curl play out of bunch, which he's had some success with, but this time Henry was all over it. Both sides completely bagged deep down the field. On the other side of midfield, second and six for Cole. Lamb splits off the bunch on the right side. Keith Byers the lone back in the backfield on the left side, and a mistake from Cole takes a, a delay of game, and he throws his hands up, but the clock's right up there. Yeah, and I think he was trying to snap it as quick as possible, and that's why the disappointment came in, but yeah, you cannot make that mistake in the situation. Now puts himself out of field goal range, so tough penalty. We'll see if that throws him off at all. Those are the plays that you see new players sometimes get thrown off for. He's not thrown off for it at all. There's 81. Calvin Johnson to the 13-yard line. Another red zone drive for the Bolts fam leader at this point, Cole. Well, he's going to go quick here. Look for that motion Z spot again. Watch Taysom Hill up the seam. There's the motion. There's the throw. There's Taysom Hill. Call him Nostra Davis. That's a touchdown for Cole as he finds Taysom Hill in the end zone. What a second half drive for the ultimate underdog Cole. Unbelievable. I mean, dots left and right had both had the sidelines completely wide open. This time goes to that seam crossing route. Taysom Hill with that short in elite ability lights up. Massive touchdown to go up eight against the number one player in the world. Henry, a nice juke back to the right side up the sidelines of the 32 yard line is where he'll start his drive. We'll take a look one more time at this touchdown. You called it out, number seven, four seven. Yeah, and that, that auto motion's tough, right? It kind of gets Henry confused in the middle. He doesn't know what to cover. Because sometimes Taysom Hill's on, a, on a, a, a seam route streak. That time he's on a crossing route. Sometimes you've got the backside slant or the backside hitch. There's just a lot going on. And you can't forget about the swing route out of the backfield. So it's confusing Henry in the middle of the field a little bit. Got lost in no man's land. And Cole takes advantage for the touchdown. Brady underneath to Hill for uh, near the first down. He'll pick up seven underneath for Henry. It's Henry already down to the 37-yard line. You can see Henry a little more sense of urgency on this drive. Yeah, it looks like Cole's completely leaving that X receiver uncovered this time. He goes straight out zone. And right side, there's Seedles. Seat D Lamb to the eight-yard line. Big play for Henry, first and goal. Yeah, that was a tough throw right there. Tight window, great free-form completion pass leading that back inside. Oh. 
End zone wide open. That one's too easy. You can't leave 88 oh. or 17, 16, 19, 44. Whatever number it is, you can't leave them that open in the end zone. Touchdown for Henry, a two-point conversion away from tying this game up. Yeah, let's see what he cooks up here. Huge two-point conversion. What a response by Henry. You see those second-half adjustments coming into play, right? You know that Cole wants to send five out a dollar. He hits those seams for the easy touchdown. Looking left side, and like a, a game of blackjack that's going great for the players. We got 21s all around. Minute 20 to go, all tied up. The number one player in the world looking to keep his hope for belt number five alive as he kicks this away to Cole. Yeah, what was that within 40 seconds right there? Henry responds, and that's those adjustments we're talking about, right, as we'll take a look at the replay here in a second. But Cole's been sending five out of dollar, right? Blitzing pretty heavy. Henry, as we take a look at this replay, high balls that seam route gets in between the safeties, wide open behind the user, and that's how you need to attack that cold defense. And the two-point conversion, double crossing routes, nice accuracy on the pass, able to tie this ball game up. 21's up, 18-yard line for Cole. First down and 10. He's in the bunch, motions land from right to left. John Elway back to pass. Three-man rush picked up nicely by the offensive line. He's got all sorts of time. He's going to look for Thielen. Did he get the feet in bounds? No, he did not. Second down and 10. Incomplete pass on the sidelines. Tough break right there for Cole. He's had success. He's had that deep corner route open a few times. Of course, Henry Rock in five of those KO, those knockout abilities, didn't come into play there, but definitely helps you on the backside of that defense. Second and 10. Oh, nice, nice job getting out of the pocket. He'll scramble forward, and it looks like he should have the first down. John Elway showing off the wheels. We talk so much about Henry's pocket presence. Cole says, hey, how about my pocket presence? Phenomenal stick work right there to evade that pocket, get outside with John Elway. And now it looks like Cole's going to slow this game down a little bit, use some clock here, try to make this the final play of the third quarter. I'll hand it off to Byers from the 33-yard line, and he will be able to take this all the way down. We'll see if he decides to stab the ball. I think the controller's down. I think that gives you guys some time to put some fours up in the chat. We're going to the fourth quarter. We're all tied up. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. Whether you're watching on Twitch, YouTube, and any of the watch parties, I see you all out there. I see you, Dub. I see you, Skim. I see you, Fend. I see Lauren and Kep. I know everybody out there is excited to watch this game. Fours up wherever you are. We're all tied up. Five minutes to determine our first finalist. Hand off to Byers. Right side, picks up two, third and four. And Cole, of course, we talked about wants to slow the game down a little bit, but at the same time, you don't want to get too conservative and let Henry just kind of be prepared for this run game. You see the two clock, though, is on already for Cole. Going to go over to that wide trips weak formation. He throws it to that swing pass. The first time we've seen him throw it to the swing today, and it'll pick up a first down. He needed four. He got seven. See, though, there's just so many things to worry about, right? You got the seams to Taysom Hill. You got the backside slants. And finally, you mentioned it, he goes to the swing route for the first time with the great lead blocking out there and picks up a critical third down conversion, keeps the chains moving and keeps the clock moving. Over the middle, complete to the 47 yard line. Ty, you mentioned uh, on uh, on day one how big Taysom Hill would be. And Taysom Hill has been huge for Cole. Yeah, it's been his number one go-to receiver. Using him all different ways, right? That time goes to the angle route out of bunch over the middle. Sharp cutting angle route does a great job against man coverage. Fires it in there for another conversion. First and ten. The tackle switch places. The wide receiver. Adam Thielen goes from right to left. Byers on the left tip. And former Stanford Cardinal John Elway. He'll hand it to Byers. Uh, and this is looking like a, a, an IHOP out here with a number of pants. Takes out there. Offensive line blocking beautifully for Byers. Yeah, an IHOP. It looks like big league chew out here with all this bubble gum. I mean, you said it. The tackle switch position. Looks like he went to like a trips over or tackle over formation. Something I don't think I haven't seen since NCAA 12 or 14. And then he goes with an RPO bubble and he hands the ball off. Just so much stuff going on right now. Oh! oh you, can't do that. you can't do that when you're on an upset bid. 
Surrender Cobra from Cole as he throws a pick to Antonio Cromartie. Florida State stand up for the man that might have saved Henry's wild card tournament. Oh my goodness. Cole's playing almost a perfect game, nearly flawless. And in the most critical of moments, he gives the ball to Henry. Oh man, your heart breaks if you're a fan of Cole. Second and a yard. As you know, Henry is gonna look to use this the entirety of the clock and quickly move to the final. He only needs to get a field goal range. He's already picked up a first down as he can take this to the two minute warning. Yeah, Henry's like a shock right now. He smells blood in the water. He knows that Cole just gave him a gift and he has no plans to not take advantage of this. Three straight run calls, gets down to the two minute warning, knows he only needs what, 15 yards here? 10, 15 yards to potentially end this game. And you see the disgust on Cole's face, shaking his head. He knows that was a monumental mistake. Playing perfect. All these different formations and then just one bad read could cost him. Second and nine oh, over the middle. Uh, that uh, might be the break that Cole needs, though. An air mail on that pass. Clock stops. Third and nine. Ty could be third in the ball game. This is it right here. This is a biggest play of the game so far. For Cole, he wants to shock the world. He wants to pull off one of the biggest upsets we've seen. Bringing those safeties down the box. Let's see if he sends a little bit of pressure. I expect it to come off that left side. He's going to send both oh, sides here. Let's see if Henry can make a read. Let's go. In trouble. Down goes Brady. Oh, the defense for Cole steps up. Javon Curse in on the sack. The Florida Gator able to get in the backfield. Fourth and 13, and Henry hurries to the line. He wants to go for this one. He wants to go for the gusto. Buck 30 and counting. Play clock down to six, down to five, empty backfield for Henry. Does Cole have one more stop in him? Here goes Brady, pressure coming off the edge, right down the middle, wide open is Taysom. To the first down marker and more, and a wry smile from Cole as that could seal this one. Henry with a clutch fourth down pickup. Henry is cold hearted in these clutch moments. Just does not care about you at all. What a clutch dot to potentially ice this game. In the biggest moment, Henry does it. Again, this kid just, in these moments, he just shows out. It, unbelievable. The biggest moment of the game, and you see the smile. Yeah, I don't know how. That can just never come easy, bro. I just don't understand. It's never easy. It's never easy, I don't know why. I'm gonna see if I sweat my balls off of it again. I don't know. Second timeout <laughs> taken from Cole. Second and ten for Henry. Give it to Byers. Centers it up. Cole will use his final timeout. See, uh, Nick, at that point, though, I, I think you saved that final timeout for the ice kick, right? I mean, I don't know if you even, what's the point of even using it there? Maybe you save it for some ice, but what a, I can't believe Henry pulled this one out. He's in field goal safe right here. He's not even trying to block it. I mean, wow. in fairness, Head, I got news for you with Focus Kicker. <laughs> it doesn't, there aren't a lot of blocks to get through anymore. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know what happened to me. Ball is down, kick is up, and it is good. Two seconds remain. But with that kick, the number one player in the world might have sealed himself another shot at his fifth belt. What a battle. It looks like Henry's gonna survive on the edge of his seat. I mean, this was not easy. You'll see there's a miracle intact here for, for Cole. Well, there's one second remains. He was able to get down and we will get one more shot. One chance at a miracle. <laughs> Ty, you I just never fun. know. Exactly you never know. I, do, do we call a little bubblegum action here? Do we try to throw the deep bomb? Exactly and he's going to go three deep here. Final play of semifinal number one in what has been an amazing, amazing game. Wow. 
What does Cole have up his sleeve? Can he make it interesting? Motion Byers over to the left side, two wide to the right side, one over to the left side. Elway back to pass on first and 10. Pressure picked up for the second, and then it's no longer picked up. And what a ball game. Unfortunately, Cole Channel is in her Pete Carroll with that throw as he was driving to take the lead. And Henry, when you make a mistake against Henry, you pay for it. He is able to escape 24-21 with the win, TD. Uh, and for Henry, this, this was like the five shots of espresso in the morning. A wake-up call like we've never seen. And that's what winners do. That's what champions do. They find a way to get it done when it's not pretty, when you're not playing great, you're playing ugly. But in critical moments, you come up with big plays when you need it. And that's what Henry does to advance to yet again another finals game.